Welcome to West Explains Best. Today we're going to be doing a Khan Academy tutorial on surface area using nets. This is a Khan Academy exercise that's really the introduction to surface area. So let's go ahead and get started. So it says, check out this rectangular prism. So I'm checking it out right now, and I see it's two by three by five. And it says, find the surface area of the rectangular prism above using its net. A net is essentially, um, if you take like an Amazon box, for example, and then you fold it flat and kind of not rip it apart necessarily, but just fold it flat and flatten everything out and expand it. it it's how you kind of build a box. So we can find the surface area of a 3D shape by um, adding up all the outside 2D edges, all the outside 2D shapes that compose the box, that compose the shape, okay? Now, there's gonna be some formulas that I introduce in the notes that make this a lot easier process where you don't have to use nets, but it's important to kind of understand what is a net and how we can apply it to understand surface area a little bit better. So using a net, we're gonna essentially just find the area of all these shapes. So we're gonna find the area of area one, find the area of two, area of three. It looks like this is the same, but we're gonna still label a different number, A5 and then A6. There's six sides to a rectangular prism. So our first A1, I'm just gonna do this quickly. All of these are gonna be length times width for the area. So our, my width is three and it's gonna be five. A2 is gonna be two times five. Uh, A3 is going to be 3 times 2. Same thing with A4. Uh, A5 is the same as uh, A1, which is 3 times 5. And then A6 is the same as A2, as, so that's 2 times 5. You'll notice that they opposite sides kind of pair together. Obviously, you need to have two sides that match if you're going to have a box that uh, can actually close and actually work. So now we're just going to... Uh, sum these all up. First, I need a, whoops, <laughs> my multiplication is a little off here. 2 times 5 is 10, 6, 6, 15, and then 10. So now we just need to add up all these numbers. So I have 15, uh, hold on a second, uh, 15 uh, times 2, 10 times 2 is 20, plus 6 times 2 is 12. So I have 62 units squared for my answer. All right, next question. Now we have a cube. So one thing that's nice about a cube is essentially we have six sides that are all the same. Think about a uh, dice. So if you have a dice, all six sides are exactly the same. Obviously they have different um, numbers on there, but all the, um, what's opposite here? We, have, we could have a four. So obviously uh, all the sides are the same. So really what we need to do is find the area of one side and then times it by six to find the surface area. That's one way. If you don't trust me, you could take your time and find the area of each one of these, but I'm gonna take the shortcut. So the area of one is just side squared, or the side times the side, and that is equal to five squared, which is equal to uh, 25. Sorry, I don't know why I wrote this second equal sign. So we have 25, and then we're gonna multiply that by six, and I know that's 150. Okay, next up, triangular prisms. These ones are a little bit tougher, so this is a great one to end on here. And I think we probably covered all the shapes that you're going to see in this uh, Khan Academy. So find the surface area of this triangular prism. So let's break it up into shapes. We have A1, and that's gonna be times two because the other side's exactly the same. A2 is gonna be by itself. There's no other A2, and then A3 is that triangle. So let's start with A1. A1 is a three by seven rectangle, so we just do three times seven. A2 is a six by seven rectangle, and then A3 is a triangle. So we're gonna use one half base times the height for the triangle. We know the base is six. We know the height is two. So that gives us an area of six. This gives us an area of 42, and then we have to do times two for the A3, the triangle, times that by two, we get 12. Area of the second one, A2, we leave that alone, 42. And then A1 is 21, but we need to times that by two because there's two of them, and that equals 42. So now we have 42 plus 42, which is 42 times two, plus 12, and we get 96. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I'll see you next time when we do a little bit more advanced surface areas and we're gonna apply some formulas that make that even quicker. See you next time.